previously. White Prince no. to the grave, yo. <laughs> no, this isn't fair. On Progression Series Season 2. I've got the game is what I got, my man. 21. Sure about that, buddy? I'm positive about it, yeah. Do you have a course? No, I don't. Okay, yeah, I get in the game. I get, <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> this is my strategy, Alex. And it's time for me to get payback. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released, moving in chronological order constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Well, ladies and gentlemen, even though we lost last episode, we still get to claim our Snatch Steel that we spun on the wheel last week. And I think there's one card in particular I'm looking to add to my collection that Gage has had for quite some time, and that's Castell the Sky Blaster Musketeer. Not the most impactful card, but it's kind of surprising how often this card has come up compared to like just so many other rank four options. And I haven't had it since its release back in Duelist Alliance, but with it in our collection, our rank four pool expands. Band. So let's throw it over to Gage so he can spin the wheel for winning last episode. Very, very generous of Alex to stem the bleeding from our loss streak when he did. We were looking pretty rough for a few weeks. Looking back on it, I've looked at the episodes myself. I'd like to say he got very lucky. Typical Alex Simo protagonist luck. But I'm back with a vengeance, baby. That win that we got last week felt like a landslide. I really needed that to boost my confidence. And I've got a wheel in front of me, so I can't not smile, right? All these options are extremely good. They have been for a very long time. There's still ones in particular. Promo, Starlight, Snatch Deal, Band Tickets. These ones are, well, yeah, maybe not the Band Ticket. I roll a lot of those. These slices in particular can unlock infinite possibilities, quite literally. Like, we have so many things at our fingertips. Just always one card away, one card away. Let's give it a couple clicks here. I've been told one click is too little. So let me give it, let me give it 10. That was 10. That was 10. Trust me. Let's see what we come out with. Expecting something good. It's a, uh, uh, that's not a good one. Actually, that's probably a really bad one. What did we open last week? Oh my God. We opened Dragons of Legend 2 last week, right? Dude, I don't even want to look at the set. <laughs> Can I just not redeem it? Can I just bank it? <laughs> Can we do that? I don't really want anything. Gotta be like, fuck it. Give me a Toon Kingdom. Why not, bro? What a waste, man. So disappointing. Okay, I am finally not in the loser circle. I don't have pity packs to open. We're just getting into Clash of Rebellion, bro. Yeah, not gonna lie. I was really just hoping to demoralize Gage by beating him with the deck that he beat us with several episodes ago in Skull Servants, and uh, clearly it just didn't go our way. The battery men are too tough. What can I say? But what is also tough is uh, today's set, as a matter of fact, Clash of Rebellion, released on August 6, 2015. I like how we always call these sets core sets, and the uh, symbol for this set is C-O-R-E, but in any case, Clash of Rebellion's fantastic core set. This set introduced so many different archetypes. I mean, the Ignites debut in here, Cosmo is a TCG exclusive archetype. We got Kaijus, we have more Perform Ages. I think this actually might be the debut of the Perform Ages, but if anything, it's the good Perform Ages. Scrolling on down to the Super Rares, there's some pretty decent ones. Like, obviously, Luster Pendulum was impactful at the time, but for Prague, it's a little bit more limited in how good it actually is. I think Gage and I are going to be fiending for Brilliant Fusion because we actually have access to uh, both the materials to make this card as well as Seraphonite. And in season one, we didn't have access to Seraphonite because it was only reprinted in side sets. And so Brilliant Fusion is going to be a huge game changer if we can have access to it. The Seeker Rares are also quite strong. Archfiend Eccentric being a generic out to a lot of different things. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragons are really annoying rank seven. Storming Mirror Force is huge. Mistaken Arrest is annoying. Just decent Seeker Rares. I think funny enough, the Ultras are probably the weakest part of the entire set. Like, yeah, like there's Farm Girl and Ignister Prominence. But again, like if we're not really going to have the strategies to facilitate these cards, they're not really going to do us a ton of good. 
And then what I think most people remember fondly about this set are the commons. Damage Juggler, Hat Tricker, Trick Clown all debuted in the set and they're all fantastic for any rank four focused strategy, which uh, Gage and I happen to have a lot of. So we're gonna probably be seeing a lot of these. Raid Raptor gets support in here. Black Metal Dragon for all you Dragon Link lovers out there. Ignites are all coming in at common. Deskbot 05, that's kind of scary. Deskbot's had a huge uh, impact on Prog season one. And then we have Wavering Eyes, of course, coming in at common. And of course we have All-Star Massacre Staple Backup Rider. What more could you ask? for. Overall, though, pretty fantastic set as far as core sets go. Again, it's like there are crazier sets, but I mean, if you're looking at it relatively, this is like a pretty above average core set. But before we get into that, though, we do have to open our three Astro Packs. I believe we're on Astro Pack 7. Let's see what we get out of here. Uh, an Ultimate Rare Spell Shattering Arrow is not bad. I will take it. I think we already pulled Spell Shattering Arrow in other sets, though, so I don't think that's a new card necessarily. Fairy Wind, again, we've, we've seen a lot of these cards before, so it's nothing really too new, and we just got like basically the same pack back to back. Who cares about that? We're here for Clash of Rebellion. Let's get cracking. Pack number one, Dogaron, the Mad Flame Kaiju. Man, I remember when these were first debuted. What a what a like monumental like card design to put into Yu-Gi-Oh. Actually, like super important throughout the later years. TCG exclusives have like a 50% success rate of actually being something decent. Um, this is one of the ones that definitely solidified themselves as a great mechanic. Being able to out, like, Towers monsters became notoriously difficult in just around this time, right? Like, Apocalypse Fort Towers. I remember Super Quantal, King Magnus, was actually, like, unironically a real deck. So, Gamma Sealing Over, it was super, super simple. I always thought this card was better. Chicken Game, by the way. Let's talk about that. Uh, very banned card. Very, very annoying and oppressive card. Player with the lowest life points takes no damage. You can pay a 1,000 life points, draw a card, destroy it, or the opponent gains a 1,000. This was an integral card in, like every Yu-Gi-Oh deck back in the day because not only could you capitalize off of your opponent's chicken game, you could use your own. And if you played any other field spell, you could just replace it and not give your opponent the opportunity to draw a free card. Uh, ended up opening up FTKs even too, like Monarchs and stuff like that. This card was really, really annoying. Um, I really never see this card coming back. There's like so many field spells that get released that have like certain like high times in the game, like chicken game. And then I remember a magical midbreaker field was a huge problem. Who could forget Mystic Mine? Maybe they should just Stop releasing field spells. I like that. Somebody at Konami, I hope you're listening. Trapeze Magician. Actually, not a bad XYZ here. There's a lot of really good cards that I'm not bringing up, and that's like in the common slot. Cards like Performa Pal Trick Clown were unreal at the time. Paired with another card, Brilliant Fusion, in this set, summoning Seraphonite was able to dump Trip Clown, give you a free level 4, plus an additional normal summon off of Seraphonite. Was insane value. There's also the rest of the Perform Mages are really good too. Hat Trickers like an Extender and Damage Jugglers like a Stratos for them all too. 24 packs of Clash of Rebellion coming right up. I think if anything, we're really just looking for Brilliant Fusion. I think that is probably the biggest card that we could pull and thankfully it's a super rare there is other good stuff but i think that's like the thing i'm looking for the most and uh in this first pack oh my god i forgot to talk about chicken game chicken game's also insane as well so chicken game damage juggler two ignites black metal dragon a lot of stuff for uh future decks that we can play with here there is a gem knight card but not the gem knight card we are looking for brilliant diamond's not terrible though i don't think we're gonna be playing gem knights anytime soon but that's still a decent card nonetheless uh pianissimo is in the set as well wow there's a lot of just really good stuff in here. Deskbot 5 is something we want to keep an eye on because getting a play set of that just helps uh, desk bots potentially. But uh, Cosmo Slip Rider is not a terrible card. Just being able to pop her spell or trap on summon is pretty good. Wow, lots of Ignites in this pack. We got Lancer, Crusader, Gal... We don't really play Lancer, if I'm being honest. Crusader, though, being one of the supers, I think there's two Ignites that are super rares, and Ignites are potentially, like, one of our first playable Pendulum strategies just because so many of the cards are low rarity. It's scary. I'm gonna have to look out for that. Oh, shit! Speaking of looking out for Pendulums, there's an Ignister Prominence. Um... That's pretty good, I hear. Again, we need to actually have a deck to facilitate this, and we don't have Luster Pendulum, but there's a lot we can cook up with this if we pull the right cards. Man, it's just like one good pack after the next. There's a Dogeron, and that's, I believe, our first Trick Clown. We only really need one, so I'm just happy to see one copy of it, but we'll take more. That's fine. Also, a Super Rare Dried Winds, but I don't really care about that. Chicken Game, Despot 05, Squire, Trick Clown. Like, it just, like just looking at the commons in this set is crazy. And there's another good rare, Kumungus. So that gives us one of each of the Kaijus. I'm really just hoping we get more of those because if we get like Interrupted Kaiju Slumber and Breakers of Shadow, Gamma Seal, I believe, comes out a little bit later, but that's totally fine. More Kaijus to work with the better. Great side deck cards. I haven't gotten a Hollow yet. Why is that? What are they keeping from me? Oh, I guess that's what they were keeping from me. Infernoid Tierra. I would believe there was something there if I had Void Imagination. Pretty sure that's like the fusion one that dumps everything. I'd believe I had some sort of a deck 
as long as I had that card. Still able to pull it, I think. Oh, Gem Knight Lady Brilliant. She's not that good. Lady Brilliant Diamond's not fantastic. So I'm going to Gem Knight Fusion from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. I want to say this was part of like an FTK, like the Gem Knight FTK summoning Master Diamond out, and then Master Diamond got limited, so... But I'm not too sure. Ask Distant Coder. Well, I guess ask and you shall receive. There's back-to-back Humongous. I think we're set on Trick Clowns. There's a Gallant. There's another 05 Hat Tricker. Toon Cyber Dragon's not even terrible. We have regular Cyber Dragon, but you know, it's fine. Oh, Chicken Game, too. I believe that is a play set of Kumungus, which is kind of crazy. Again, we're going to have reprint sets, so I don't know how crazy it is compared to like Prog Season 1 where we didn't, but having access to that many Kaijus is definitely valuable. Kumungus is like the second weakest one, so I mean, you know, if we don't get Gamma Seal for whatever reason, Kumungus is second best. Oh my god, Retaliating Seas in this set too. How did I miss like all these cards? There's so many good cards in here. Well, there's a super rare, unfortunately, still not Brilliant Fusion, but Infernoid Decatron is not terrible. I don't think our Infernoid pool is looking too hot, but I mean, Decatron's an okay pull. Okay, we can chill out with the Kumunguses. I'm good. All right, that's another Dogeron. That gives us five Kaijus in total now, which is kind of just ridiculous if you think about it, that five out of our 24 packs have been Kaijus, and we're still not done. Oh, a super. I almost passed this up, I'm going to be honest. Red Eyes, Archfiend of Light. It's a Gemini. It's probably all I have to say. And that's my third chicken game. I'm really happy to see that. Uh, if anything, I wanted to walk away with a set is a play set of chicken game. Couple more packs left. There's one of my favorite cards actually of all time in Yu-Gi-Oh! Archfina Centric. I love this card, bro. When this card was announced, I fell in love immediately. It's a Pendulum Monster, allows you Pendulum it, and then pop a spell and trap and itself. And its monster effect is Exiled Force. You can tribute it and then pop a monster. I think this card was super slick. At the time, pendulums were still just being toyed with, and they really didn't have a, a home. Generic pendulums were a little bit harder to come by. It was all about the Performa Pals, really. Uh, but this card came out, and I fell in love. There's a playmat after this, too, that looks gorgeous. One of my favorite things was this, is I, I was toying back in the day. I distinctly remember. It's an Archfiend card, so if you scale it up, you can use Falling Down, and this is, of course, a Snatch deal, bro. You have to control an Archfiend card. But come on, as long as I don't have to normal summon an actual Archfiend, I'm yoinking your dude. Crazy. I love this card. Very happy I have it in my collection. Uh, as for everything else, though, I've been very disappointed. Um, see what these last four packs have. Kumungus. Humongous Kumungus. Another Marksman. Damage Juggler. What do we got here? Man Dragon in the last booster pack. Oh, gives us a Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. An ultimate rare. Beautiful card. Actually, great rank 7, too. To pair with our Dragon Rulers. I don't want to play those anymore. <laughs> I, I had notoriously bad win streak with that deck. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really, really, really wanted to pull more trick clown one of them feels like robbery <laughs> double check how many despots did i pull in here only a few packs left of clash of rebellion and i think it's been good but i feel like a lot of what we got is what we were expecting to get just because it's all commons and rares and yeah the rare luck can sometimes be a bit off but our hollow luck has been definitely below average. Let's see what we finish here in the last three packs. That's a third Dogeron. So we have play sets of both Kaijus right out of the gate, which is kind of crazy. Second to last pack, Ignite Champion. We pulled a lot of like the Ignite rares too, which aren't particularly strong. And let's go ahead and look at the last pack. Hopefully we get something good in the close. And uh, a Magical Abductor, if we play a sort of Pendulum-based strategy, isn't terrible. Let's take a look at what we got down here. So immediately right off the bat, I don't like that we only have two damage juggler. I understand this gets limited later, but damage juggler is like insane. And so I would like to have like as many copies of that as possible. Ideally three. We only need one trick clown and we pulled six. We're good on retaliating C's, despot 05s. Our ignite pool is sufficient, although we didn't really get many of the hollows, but we got play sets of everything else. Seven kaijus is kind of cracked. And uh, our hollow luck, like I said, was definitely below average. We only pulled four. I guess the main question is, if I were to respin, what am I trying to respin for? I would definitely like to get Trapeze Magician. We missed out on that, and Trapeze Magician is like one of the strongest reasons to play the uh, Perform Ages, because this just allows for just some silly OTKs. Looking at the supers, we definitely missed out on Brilliant Fusion, and this card doesn't get reprinted for quite a while. Maybe in the Megatons, but that's still like several episodes away, and even then, it's still not guaranteed. We didn't get a single secret rare, and uh, we got an Ignister prominence, but like, if we don't really have, like, Brilliant Fusion, I feel like is more generically applicable than Ignister, but Ignister is insane. All right, took me a minute to consider, and like I said, I do feel robbed that I only got one Trick Clown, but coming out with play sets of everything else that I wanted, I feel like I can't say no, right? Three Wavering Eyes, three Chicken Game, three Despot 05, three Hat Tricker, three Damage Juggler. The one Trick Clown, you know what? can't win them all, right? Still think I got something nice cooking for today. Let's add this to the collection. 
see what we got. So I looked it up. Ignister actually gets a reprint before Brilliant Fusion does and by like several sets. I think it's in one of the gold sets where Brilliant Fusion's first reprints in the Megatons. And I know we're talking about like several months into the future when it comes to prog. I'm going to respin. I think we can do better. I'm going to respin and see what happens. All right, 24 more packs of Clash of Rebellion. Let's see if we don't regret it. And uh, unfortunately, we got an Ultra Rare right off the bat. And it is not an Ignister, but it is High Speedroid Kendama, which will never see the light of day. Okay, we got a Kumungus back. I think as long as we get like one or two of each Kaiju in here, I'll be okay with that. I don't need three. Okay, Trapeze Magician's huge. That was one of the main reasons I wanted to respin and we got it. So now if we can just pull a Brilliant Fusion, I think we'll come out ahead. Well, there's a Dogeron, so we're one for one. Honestly, even if we only got one of each of these, I'd be satisfied. Oh my God, we got Ignister back too. This was already worth it, 100%. And it's an ultimate rare. Not that that matters for Prague, but you know, it's just cool. Oh my God, a second Trapeze? I don't think we need to play two Trapeze Magician, but I guess it's cool to have the option of having a second. As far as Ultra Rares go, they're not that fantastic, but Ignite Templar's okay if we do want to try to play any of the Ignite strategies. We didn't get that before, and that's just one of the harder ones to pull. So I guess we'll take it. Well, and back to back, there's a Crusader to pair with it. So, I mean, Ignites are looking better and better. There's a super in Gen K Magician. I'm probably completely butchering the name on that. I don't know if we'll be using that, but you know, it's fine. Second copy of Kumungus back. Can't complain there. Oh, that's the wrong fusion. It's Red Eyes fusion, not Brilliant fusion. So close yet so far. Although we will have access to uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon once we get later on in Prague. So maybe that'll come up. Only a few packs left. I definitely think we've come out ahead. I, there's still a chance to get Brilliant fusion, but I'm not holding my breath. I think that's like our third copy of Dragong. That card's so bad. I think we're probably set on damage jugglers and retaliating seas. We'll have to check in the end. Second to last pack, nothing too crazy. And uh, final pack, Damn, I was really hoping we get Brilliant Fusion at the end, but we did not. Okay, uh, so I think we're fine. We have three, yeah, we got five damage jugglers. We we shuffled our ratios around. We're definitely good. We got the Trapeze Magician. We got a refund on the Ignister. I think we came out ahead, so let's get to building. Decided to bring something new, but it's kind of something you've seen before. What I have in front of me is essentially a rank four turbo. My take on Clown Blade, minus the blade. I don't have any thousand blades, funny enough. Since I don't have any Thousand Blades, we had to remove the Heroic Challenger as well as, well, the Thousand Blades aspect of the Clown Engine. But essentially, what these cards were able to do was to create a consistent Rank 4 toolbox. Hat Trigger ends up being an extender if there are two more monsters on the field. Either player's field, that's very important. Damage Juggler ends up being consistent uh, searches for Hat Tricker or Trick Clown. And we talked about Trick Clown being when it's sent to the graveyard, you just bring it back for a thousand life points. We're playing some familiar friends like Photon Thrasher as well as Kage to Kage. Pairing with King of the Feral Imps, we have a new target to search in the form of Gigabyte. Gigabyte, as long as we control a spellcaster, note all these guys are spellcaster, we can just special summon this guy from the hand for free. It's a reptile, so we can search it off a of King of the Feral Imps. It's going to be explosive. A lot of our turns and gadgets ended up making like one XYZ in passing. This one's going to consistently be able to whip out two King of the Feral Limps on the minimum, or we can make something like Lavaval Chain to then stack BLS. I really don't have to describe too much more about it because it's essentially stuff you've already seen before. We're going to be making a lot of rank fours really efficiently, and then we also have the way to follow it up and do it again the next turn. We have some of the best trap cards in our arsenal down here, and in our side deck, we have just kind of kitted out with certain outs here. Stygian Dirge, in case Alex wants to get the same idea. He was playing the game pretty heavily around here. I'm more than certain he's familiar with Clown Blade as a strategy. I definitely wouldn't be surprised, like I said, if he took it today. And if he does, we're ready for it, buddy. I think this is pretty solid. I have no complaints with this. Uh, it's pretty easy to play too. Let's just hope we don't fuck it up. Oh, am I excited for this one. The desk bots straight out of Prague season one are back, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, this is a bit early to be playing the desk bots. We just received desk bot five in this set. I believe six comes out in the next core set, which is Dimension of Chaos, which I'm not sure if that's the immediate next episode, but it's coming up. But so why are we gonna play this now, right? We could wait for the full support, but I feel like this deck can kind of function without six. Like, yeah, you don't have the pendulum summoning capability and you don't have six, which can actually like pop a monster. But in any case, you can still do the OTKs. This was like, not exactly like a common deck during this period, but it was something you could see at locals and just cheese out wins with, which is exactly what we want to do today. So let's quickly do the card by card. I basically think at this point, Gage and I are probably going to play Gores and Fader in almost every single deck that we're playing, which may not bode too well for the fact that we're playing this deck. But in any case, if he's not, 
slot on these cards, and we're just going to win immediately. Plus, these guys are just kind of big. So the fact that we can just have a big board and hit over Gores, we don't really care. We have the 101, the 002, the 003, and the 004. 01's like fine. It's a tuner. It just specials if we summon two or more guys at once. 02 is one of the best ones because it's just a searcher on special summon, and it pumps everything else. Deskbot 003 just specials a guy to the field and can pump one guy up just to a billion attack points. And 4 is insane just because it can summon a bunch of guys out at once. Then, of course, we have one glow-up bulb just because bulb just allows for some synchro capabilities, and it's just a fine card altogether. Oh, I guess I forgot about 05. This guy's kind of important, but, like, honestly, it's only really important for, like, 04 more than anything, but also just being able to, like, pop spells and traps is pretty nice because this deck sort of loses a spell and trap removal, but interestingly enough, we haven't been playing many, like, spell or rather trap-focused decks. At least Gage hasn't, so I don't expect that to change much today. For the spells, double dark hole, triple lance, triple instant fusion, limiter removal, funny because it's all uh, machines. Then we have triple machine duplication. Speaking of which, triple MST, one for one pot of greed, soul charge, and, of course, triple upstart. The life point cost is sort of an issue, but I'd rather just see my combo pieces. The extra consists of Carbonola and, of course, Thousand Eyes for removal. And then we have Cataster, Black Rose, Brianac, Leo, Naturia Beast, and Stardust Dragon. I'm not really expecting to summon any of these, but they're just options. Similarly, we have Dweller, the newly acquired Castell, Digosto Emerald, Dark Rebellion, Exiton, Lababble Chain, and Silent Honor Arc. And then the side deck, we just have some fun stuff. We have Effect Veiler in case he's playing a super aggro deck. We can just bring this in. Book of Moon, just a good all-around card. Creature Swap is very funny because all the monsters in our deck have, like, 500 attacks. So we could just take his biggest... We could even take Gores, right? We could kill the token then creature swap for gores that's just perfect in my eyes and then after game one, Gage might surmise that we're not really playing back row if he sees that we're playing this deck. And so we can, after he boards out of all of his spell and trap removal, can bring in bottomless, compulse, triple mirror force, and torrential just to be able to clean things up that way. And if he is playing some weird back row deck, even though the main deck sort of already covers this quite well, we do have triple trap stun that we can bring in. Although I'm not really expecting Gage to play a trap deck. That's just not really his style. So I can't wait to see how this one plays out. And I can't wait to see Gage's face when we drop a desk bot on him. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to do well, Gage, uh, I, we don't get to say this often in Prague, but uh, a core set that's actually good. Uh, I can't really complain too much about that. I was obviously the one talking about this set, unfortunately, but lots of really good cards. How are you feeling about your polls? Yeah, Who figured out that the core set, the, the most recent one that was good, is the acronym CORE? I think they really nailed <laughs> right? this one, bro. They really got this one. They yeah. nailed it out of the park. I like this set. There's a whole bunch of uh, iconic stuff from it. I've talked about Cosmo the last few episodes. I know I think this is their official release finally. Things yes. like Farm Girl and stuff. Iconic, bro. I love it. Yeah, lots of really good stuff here. Even at the common slot, like the perform ages are in here, like the ignites. That I remember this in season one. There was a, I think this introduces maybe four or five different playable decks just from this set alone. And so hopefully we're going to continue to progress in the progression series. And so with that said, let's shout out the patron Bernard the Quag Sire. Thank you for the support. Let's see if we can win that rock paper scissors. And yes, we can. All right, take us in now, there, Alex. What's your game plan? <sighs> I'm going to go second, buddy. Okay, bro. All right. We'll see if it pays off. We'll see if it pays off indeed. Best of luck, my friend. Best of luck, Duelist. Game on. Stand by main. All right, let's see here. Curious to know what you're up to this week. Uh, you're, you're, you know, sliding to, you're starting to rein it back in, uh, retying the series here. So, pivotal episode. Maybe I'm, like, cooking with something cool. You don't know, bro. Uh, let's okay. see here. Um, all right, bro. I'm going to start with Instant Fusion. Oh, okay. I don't really see this. Points. Who do you I think this usually come. on turn one? Who do you think? Honestly, come out? I'm expecting like a. I don't know, like just some random four or five to like synchro or exceed with. That's like my guess. Seemingly a random you... level four monster. I'm gonna bring out Camion okay. Wizard. Okay. He's wasn't this in the Astral Pack? He was Astral Pack exclusive okay. actually. Very cool guy. Alex, okay. he's okay. actually super neat because he's also a spellcaster, allowing me to use a new card. I'm going to special summon Gigabyte from the hand. Ooh, okay. We're definitely seeing some new cards. I'm down. All right, cool. I'm going to exceed these two, and I am going to make... Ah, uh, this is too good, bro. I'm going to make a King of the Feral Imps. Everything just goes back to gadgets. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> it always does. I'm going to detach <laughs> from King. And I'm sure. Gonna, uh, search here. Get a Reptile from deck to hand. I always love Camion Wizard, too. I do. He's, he's so sick. Interesting that you are just, like, going straight for Gigabyte, so you have more Reptiles, obviously, that you can pull out here. Uh, yeah, I mean, one of them, it seems pretty... You could probably take a guess the other Reptile. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna add another Gigabyte. We'll just grab another one. 
Sure. I'm going to normal summon this Gigabyte. And then the other okay. reptile was Kage to Kage. So I'm going to use I, it. I figured. I figured. I'm going to exceed these two. Another king? He's going to keep going? I'm thinking about it. I'm <laughs> King me. I'm thinking about it's it, bro. Funny. I'm also thinking <laughs> this guy's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to make, actually, I'm going to make Lavalva Chain. Okay. I'm down. I'm going to use Lavalva Chain, detach. I'm going to stack. Stacking to the top of my deck, I'm going to put Black oh. Luster Soldier. Jesus Christ. Okay. Your move. Interesting you're stacking BLS with no light, uh, which could indicate a potential card that's in your hand. I think this but, uh, uh, chain's going to last till next turn, turn, actually. So I, I am very okay. confident. Mm. We'll see if that's the case. We'll see if that's the case. Uh, main phase one good. That's good. All right. Well, uh, let's see if it does, in fact, last until next <laughs> turn. <laughs> no. All right. They're all going <laughs> dark hole. All right. Good. Uh, that's all cleaned up. Now you get to see what I'm up to today, Gage. I will normal summon Deskbot 3. Wait a minute. That's got to be illegal. This is my deck, Alex. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the only light monster wasn't the one that was going to get dumped off a chain. I do have an effect veiler. I figured you might. I figured you might, which is unfortunate, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, so now... <laughs> You're down to a back row and a BLS. The question is, can I actually beat that? And to be honest with you, I'm a little bit scared of BLS. Yeah, I, I would be too. He's big. This is going to be a lot of damage. Let me think. On the plus side, I know you're drawing the BLS, so at least I know it's coming. Um, Yeah, we'll just get in for five. <laughs> yeah, no problem, dude. I'll take it. May as well. Uh, I'll go to the second main, and I will pass. Let's see what you've got. Could literally be anything, Alex. I'm going <laughs> to uh, banish a light in the dark. Shocker. Wouldn't have guessed. Yeah, who would have who would have thought it? Uh, special. Sure. Battle phase, I'm going to attack for 25. I'm take a lot of damage here. And then I'm going to use the second attack. I'm going to go direct. You sure about that, buddy? I am. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> oh, okay, I almost got nervous. I, I can hear nervous. your cheeks clenching on that one, buddy. <laughs> All right, bro. Uh, five cards in hand. Got to deal with big, tough, luster soldier. Go ahead. All right, we'll draw. I think we can deal with him. We're going to bring out Deskbot 4. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, that one's incredible, actually. Yep. Is that fine? Nothing to the 04. Um, familiar with that guy, but I ain't got nothing to answer him right now. Yeah, here he's a here is a nice lad. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna I, we gotta go for it, right? I have machine mm. dude. He, he, okay. He sniffed it out. So good thing I got this to counter it though, bro. I'm going to compulsory evacuation device. Oh my! But just get God. it out of there, bro. Lose the target. See ya. Out of everything, it's fucking. There's like a million things this could have been that would have been actually workable. This is like one of the worst. Holy shit. That is so irritating. That is like <laughs> unbelievably irritating. It's like, the it's gotta be the best card to deal with it, right? It <laughs> literally, I think is like the best card that that could have been in this situation. Okay. It doesn't help that I'm on 2,500 life points here. This yeah, so right, bad. one swing, the game's one swing, over. The game's I'm really over. relying yep. on this guy to take me home though. BLS has to get me I think me there. so, I think so. All right, it resolves. I, I can't do anything Whew. about it. If, okay, all right. Uh, this goes to hand. Yeah, this goes to hand. I uh, yep. I will set two cards, and I will pass the turn. All right. We'll try well, again I mean, another day. They better be able to beat Black Luster Soldier. I'm just going to go right to the battle phase. Three. I hate that I have to do this. I'm going to Lance to not die. <laughs> I, it works. All right, I'll go down to 22. Okay. I'll okay. go down 300, to 300. Yeah, 300 <laughs> and a prayer. All right, man. I got one backer of my own here. Hopefully it's enough to back my boy up. Go ahead. God. All right. We'll draw. That's so bad. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to do this again. That one's going to stick. All right. No <laughs> machine dupe this time. You got that out of me. Okay. So Whew. that's pretty right. good. Uh, We're going to go to battle. Okay. I'm going to try to get in here and uh, we'll try to use the effect of 04. I've got no response. Yep. Okay. So we dump an 05. Gains up to three, so they crash. Uh, and then in 
all of this, I'm going to lance your BLS. So you go down. So I survive. Oh my god, this is awful too, bro. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I kind of wanted to wait till DeskBot 6 came out for this, and this would have helped in this exact situation, so I didn't have to lance, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, right? It would have been more than enough. This is tough, though. I think this actually clears. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna take... You're gonna take 800? nothing. You're gonna take nothing, because... Oh, right, right. No Death battle bot, Yeah, there's no battle damage when DeskBot 4 comes up. Okay, but okay. BLS is... He's no more. No bro. more. He's gone. This is gonna trigger the O4, and I get to summon two DeskBots from either hand or grave. Uh, so we get to bring out the five and the three, and then the five gets to trigger here, and we get to pop the back row. Wow, Not that's so unfortunate, bro. <laughs> nothing's <laughs> being buffed, because I think the only thing that buffs right now is Despot 4 is buffed by its own effect, but that's only till end of turn. Yeah, um, that sucks, bro, because that actually does just... <laughs> they're all underneath Wow. <laughs> so, unfortunately, uh, can't really do a whole lot. My guys are just going to be chilling here, so I'm going to go down to uh, a paltry 500, and uh, we're just passing. All right, bro. Uh, draw. <laughs> That's not a card that wins me the game. I'm so close. You're at 300. I literally just have to, like, breathe on you raw and you're dead, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm going to set a card and I'm going to pass. I mean, I still have to actually kill you, so you might yeah, have that's, time Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm holding out hope for. Okay, main one. Um... So now, so you're actually playing back row. So I have to actually, you haven't played back row in a deck in like 10 years. So I have to actually like start <laughs> thinking about this now. Uh, what am I afraid of? You could just play like torrential. I'm kind of afraid of. So I don't really want to go like gung ho with a lot. I think if I want to take this a bit slow, I think we just use the effect of three to pump my four. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so this is going to get 500 for each desk bot card I control. So this goes up to 2,000. Okay. I don't want to switch anything else to attack to get a little bit more damage in. It only slightly reduces your clock. So I think I'm just going to go in for 2K here. I'll just take it. That's fine. Okay. And then second main, again, there's not really a whole lot I can do here. So I'm just going to pass. And then this goes back down to 500. Okay, draw, standby, main. I'm so scared. I, I'm literally just going to die at any <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping I can take this one, bro. Thank God you don't have Cowboy. Right? Wouldn't that be crazy? Yeah, I mean, for your that rank would be four G deck. G. Um, yeah. Do I know any of your cards in hand? No, right? They're all on You them. don't know a single card. Nope. <sighs> four is also just like an asshole of a card. I forgot it how is, annoying he's this guy is. Piece of shit, that guy, bro. He's, <laughs> he's really annoying. Now um, you know how it feels. I felt like that all of Prague Season 1. I'm going to hope that this can win me the game. Because this is all that I got left going for me, I think. Okay. I'm going to activate Soul Charge. Holy shit. Okay. Which is good. That's a great card, right? Uh, yep. Let me think what I want to target. I don't think I can kill you this turn. Well, I can't kill you this turn. I wish. I wish. I, again, Cowboy would have been GG, bro. You, you should be counting your prayers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the fact that you could bring back a BLS with Soul Charge, though, is fucking terrifying. Yeah, that's it's good. But do I want to do that? Like... I have it's looking a lot better than everything else in your graveyard. Just <laughs> <laughs> all right. I am gonna. I'm gonna pay three thousand. I'm gonna see if okay. I can this, bro. I'm gonna summon back the Luster Soldier. I'm gonna summon back Gigabyte, and I'm gonna summon back another Gigabyte. Okay. Uh, you can only control one Gigabyte, so you can't do this exactly. Okay, I'll summon the Kage to Kage. That's fine. It's so it probably not gonna special, matter. So I had but... to double check. I could do that. All right. Yes. Um. We'll use the Black Luster Soldier. I will banish the four. Uh, sure. He's out of here. I will exceed these two cards. No battle phase, remember. It's very important. I know, I, that's why the guys are going in defense position. What's your follow-up? I mean, your best case scenario. You've used a machine dupe. You've used both lances. This back row I have... You will not beat it. I, I, I don't think you can. <laughs> so, I mean, I could pretty much just do whatever I want with you, right? Like, what if I just... Oh, can you now? What if I just draw a card, bro? No, I'm a pansy. I can't do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make... <laughs> I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it, bro. I, it's, like, too risky. I'm gonna make Castell. Sure. I'm gonna detach two, and I'm gonna spin back the three. Uh... Sure. I don't think there's any reason to use the effect. You can't attack me this turn. I'm, I'm going to summon this in defense, too. I hope you don't mind. That's fine. 
I'm, I'm really hoping this is enough, bro. I'm going to just pass <laughs> my turn and hope you can't do anything. I mean, it. you seem pretty confident in that back row. And I, honestly, I'm very, having BLS actually, on the field is fine, too. Let's be honest. Yeah, I'm, like, quite confident this back row will be able to seal it. Especially since I've beaten both of your lances. Like, come on. Okay. Um... I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to make you feel even better. I'm going to give you a thousand oh, points. Generous, so. bro. Thank you. You're welcome. Such a pal. Okay. Uh, so now the question becomes, how do we actually clear this board? Um, and I don't know if I know the answer to that. All right. Well, I've got another four. Mighty powerful. That's fine. It is. Uh, hopefully it's good enough to try to beat this BLS. Like I said, I was super confident this would be able wow, to keep me in there. Wow, that's killer. Yeah, we're dead. You got it, buddy. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's go. Shane. That was a close one still, bro. It was nail fighter. That game had no right being as close as it did. That was insane. Uh, <laughs> holy crap. Um, yeah, I, I don't really want to go second again, but I think I still have to just because that's like what my deck's trying to do. So Is I'll take it? the extra card. It gives you some setup, which I'm not super enthused about, but let's see what you got, buddy. Is your deck supposed to be OTKing? I don't remember seeing that, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't think I saw anything yeah, too yeah, impressive. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see here, man. How do I want to start? <sighs> this game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm just going to set a card and pass. I, I don't even know, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> I got to be honest with you. My hands not looking yeah, too yeah, Yes. <laughs> it's an even match. Let's go. Yeah. I, I'm going to do the same. Oh, <laughs> okay. Killer. I'll draw. Stand by main. Um, I'm going to normal summon Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness. I, I actually know this card, surprisingly. Yeah, sure. I'm going to activate uh, Kage to Kage on some sure. summon. Okay, well, special Kage. Yeah, I'll just do uh, attack, and then I'll go battle phase. I'll go 11, 15. Sure. Cool. Main two, I'm going to stack them up, stack them up. I'm going to make King of the Feral Ems. He's just too good. And I'm going to compulse it. I don't want you to get more value. I respect it. I understand. Um, back he goes. All right, your move. All right. Uh, that's pretty good. We were looking for a guy, and we got it. A guy. We'll go that is a guy, ones. bro. Um, he is the guy. That's fine. Yep. All right. Uh, and we'll get two. Two effect. Yep. Uh, I don't want to put these guys in attack. That's fine. You can. Yeah. yeah. Or does that have to go in defense? No, um, you, no, you can special in attack. Yeah, it's attack. Yeah, do that. Cool. Um... We will grab... I guess we'll keep it going. Let's get another three. Yeah. So, two is boosting everything. Yep. Uh, everything besides himself. Very important. Uh, so, just the three is getting a little bit of a boost here. I will go to battle. Sure. Uh, we'll go in for five. Yep. And then uh, we'll go in for... This? Anything on attack deck? No. Do you want to use its effect? I would like to if you'll allow it. That's fine. I'll take 2,000. Okay. You'll take 2K. Uh, that is just till the end of the turn. Uh, so I will just go to main two, and I will throw down a back row and throw it to you. Okay. I will drop. Stand by main. So much for the OTKing potential. <laughs> yeah, <day>. right? I've <laughs> seen a lot of that. I'm going to use uh, off the top, pot of greed. Okay, not too happy about that, but it's fine. Two more for me. I like it. Um, Got another 003 in hand that I have to deal with. Correct. It's the only card you know. Okay, I think I'm ready. All right, I'm going to start by, since there are two or more monsters on the field, I'm going to special summon Perform Age Hat Tricker. His debut. His yeah, debut. This card, man, I always thought it actually said two or more cards on your side of the field. I never truly remembered how good this card was until this card's I read it crazy. today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Since you can draw two or more monsters, I'm going to special summon another hat tricker. <laughs> <laughs> Not once per turn, too. Uh, all right. Anything here? Nope. Okay. I'm going to slap these two on top of each other. They're going to get to Ooh, know each it. other. I don't even know what I want, bro. Um, 
while you're thinking, I've always loved Hat Trigger. He's just so goofy. He it's is. a hat with sunglasses and a cape and two hands. He's honestly styling, bro. I I, <laughs> I like his hat. I just like the three points on his hat. I think that's so sick. Wait, it's three for a hat trick. Oh, my God. Wait, I never put that oh together. Oh, my God, <laughs> Gage. Really? <laughs> I know. Tell me you knew that one. Come on. No way. Yes, of course. That's why there's all the references to threes in the effect at the bottom. I didn't know. I didn't know that, bro. <laughs> I didn't know that. You get it? Because if there's two monsters well, on the it. field, yeah. he special summons himself as the third oh, monster. I get it now. Now, it, now this game is great. I, that is so cute. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Yeah. All right, bro. Tech, check this out, man. I'm going to summon this guy for his first legal activation. I'm going to summon Ragna Zero. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha. Yeah, very funny. Is he okay? Sure. I'm going to use his effect He's and I'm going to pop this 003. I got a Valor, thankfully. <sighs> All right. No free card for me. Um, and more importantly, I keep my monster. Yeah, right. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I guess I'm just going to set and I'm just going to pass the turn. Go ahead. Sure. I'll draw. Uh, anything in standby. Nope. Main one, then. Okay, I got to deal with Mr. Annoying Ragna Zero. You got anything in the standby phase, dude? That's why I asked I did, I, uh, if you did have anything in the standby I'm phase. I'm so used to reading quick effect in, in parentheses. I forgot that doesn't exist. Um, I don't even know if I use it here. I don't. Go ahead. You can continue. Okay. I'm glad you picked up on that. Uh, actually, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping you would just not realize that it's a quick effect. I'll be patient. Okay. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Well, you know I got this guy, so we're going to run I him do. out. Um, yeah, this resolves. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, I will get... Oh, wait. Actually, hold on. Let me read this again. Sure. Oh, bro, you're scaring me. You're scaring me. <laughs> Seems kind of shit, but I, I feel like I have to. I, I, I actually will finish chain this 03. I have MST, mm, so... It didn't matter. Anyways, matter. Okay. All right, that's fine. Resolves. Okay. Uh, let's see what we want to grab. Throw two would be fun. Just buff everything. Then it's like, okay, Ragna can take out anything, but like, <laughs> it's still going to die regardless. It wasn't like Ragna exactly. I think he would just be cooked, but unfortunately it is. Uh, I'm just going to grab another two. I'm just going to make everything huge. Okay. All right. So these twos are now a thousand. And then these threes are 15s. Yep. Everything's getting big. It's getting big indeed. Uh, let's just go to battle. Okay. Uh, I'm going to send three into Ragna. Uh, this is kind of annoying for you. Yeah. Okay. On declaration, I'll Ragna zero. I'll target the attacking O3. Targeting the attacking O3? Yes. Okay. Um, I will chain this O3. Okay. And I'm going to buff uh, the O2. One okay. of the O2s. Um, so I will buff this one. Uh, it's 500 per bot, so this goes up to 3K. Okay. So this pops uh, and I draw? Yes. And then this will get popped. You draw a card. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to send this... Desk bot three into Ragna. Sure. Okay. Nothing on attack deck. No, nothing on attack deck. Okay. Then in damage, I will use three to pump itself. Okay. So it goes up to three. Yep. Okay. I lose six. Okay. Uh, one thousand. I'll take a thousand. And then three thousand. I will compulsory the O2 to stop from taking three. Ugh. That sucks. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think there's really a ton I could do about that. Sure. Okay. Uh, so these guys are just going to go back down. So I'll just adjust this now. Um, and then I will just set another card and I'll throw it to you. Draw. <clears throat> Stand by me. Okay, okay. Surprised I survived the onslaught. Now, how do I get out of it? Oh, you know what? I never searched with this two. You could pick something up if you want to. That's fine. Okay. I'm just getting another three. That's, That's that should be a surprise. Yeah. Okay. Through all that, we're, that just shows we yap too much. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? Oh, man, dude. Um, I don't feel so confident I can beat this. Oh, I know why I forgot. Because I was adjusting all the stats of everything. That's why. 
don't know, versus two back row, I don't feel great against anything. Uh, I'm going to go instant fusion. Ugh, when you're on 39, doesn't feel great. All right, what are you grabbing? Uh, I'm going to summon the Cameon Wizard again. Okay. I will special summon Gigabyte. Sure. I'll exceed. What are we making? Surely. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. Wow. No way. Effect? Gotta have a chain. Uh, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Let's go excite on night. My man. Um, well, I can't deal. I forget there. we have this card in. He's <laughs> crazy, dude. What a guy. Yeah. Man, uh, the beetle can't do damage, so I'm just gonna pass turn and then go ahead. Okay. It's opponent's battle phase that I have to worry yeah, about because yeah. I am up on cards on you. Uh, main one. Yep. Man, Despot 6 looking real fucking good right now. That's all I'm going to say. Glad it's legal. Oh, my God. It's so irritating that that's come up like twice. God, it's just so annoying because it's like if I just play cards, I'm just going to lose them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I just have to force you to use it. Uh, or not, evidently. That, that uh, should be good enough. <laughs> sure, yeah. Jesus. You want to set a couple back row? You want no, I'm yeah. good, actually. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't think so. Draw! Stand go ahead. Way. Okay, man. Well, at least I'm still kind of crushing it now. Uh, I'll just go battle phase. I'll clean up this little guy. I will pump it so I take a little bit That's less fine, here. Yeah. So I'll take nine instead of the 14. Yep. I don't have anything else, though. Your move. All right. I'll draw. That is literally the fucking worst card in my deck. Uh, Maybe there's a world. Go. Maybe there's a world. What are you setting? Oh my god, is that 04? If I flip this up and that is what it is, I'm going to get my my balls rocked. Um, <laughs> if only you had a way to deal with that. If I only mean, I what, did. What a, what a weird hypothetical scenario that you have a way to deal with a set monster. Curious, truly. I do, but it's not good enough. I'm just going to pass. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. Oh my god. I'll just set one. Go ahead. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'll draw. I mean, Stand it worked so well the first time. Main. Sure. I'm low on life, bro. Low on life, low on low on cards. All right, I'm going to activate the Exciton Knight while I still have more cards than you. <sighs> yep. Bulb in 02, so it was not 04. Okay. Take no damage this turn now. I'm like, the plus side is if you do activate it, I'm not dying this turn. So yeah. there's that. I'm just going to pass. I'll draw. Oh, thank you. I'm glad we got this card fucking 10 turns too late. Um, It still doesn't even anything <sighs> fucking depressing boy these uh these desk bots sure are something huh I, I think i knew how to make them look good i think that's that's actually just a you know good. clearly it's just it's just your touch Gage. <laughs> truly Stand just by. like with skull servants i wasn't meant to play it. yeah main's fine 19 take 19 got gores man that's unfortunately like really good I have to. Oh, I can't. Oh, my God. I just lost the game. Yeah, I... Wow. No, I can't beat this Gores. Um, and you're not dead on board. Yeah. I uh, set one, two, three. Go ahead. The hell did all that come from? Oh, yeah. You're Exiton. That's right. All right, I'll draw. Anything standby? No, you're good. Main one. Just turning everything forward and attacking. That seems fine to me. Uh, what back row have you played? Fiendish Chain, Compulse, a uh, bunch of other random nonsense. Yeah, we'll put him to attack. Okay. Battle. Yep. Just hit with Gores. Yep, I'm going to take uh, eight. Thanks. Okay. 19. Yep. Okay. 200. Uh, sec. Gain the main. I think I'm just going to throw one down and pass. Okay, I will draw. Stand by main. Special Thrasher. It's a guy. He is a dude, bro. He's he's duding it up. I'll go battle phase and I'll try to clear the token. Two? Sure. I'll set one and I'll pass. Go ahead. Another back. All right, I'll draw. Uh, well, clearly you have something to save yourself. Otherwise, there's like no way this is going to work. So 
I played around Torrential so far, so I kind of just want to attack and see what you have first. So uh, let's do that. Let's attack. Hopefully that is in space. It's not. Okay, cool. It's fine. Okay. Uh, second main, I'm going to fire Glowapulb. Sure. Uh, whoops, did not mean to do that. No, you're good. Oh. I'll mill. Okay. Anything here? Nothing there. Nope. Oh. Uh, I'm just going to make a Stardust. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to set a guy. I have it normaled right now. I just bolt. That was it. Yeah, go ahead. Draw? I don't know if I'm ballsy enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Dude, if this is. Oh, my God, bro. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I can make that play. <laughs> that would be way too meta. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna mind control your Stardust Dragon. Oh my God, that's sure. Hole. Oh, okay. I'm interested. That's fine. What is this? Let me see what this is. You wiping the board? It's getting wiped. Yep. It's a desk box. Okay. Tube. Okay. So I good thing I didn't make the play. I would have been looking super silly. Special Thrasher. Uh, I have Torrential. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um, your move. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. Normal summon four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Attack. Oh, man. Bro, that one was so oh close. My God. Oh, my oh. Those last three back, they were all bluffs, by the way. They, they None of them did anything. Oh, my God. Good God. I was like, I didn't want to just, like, lose to some random-ass back row. Crazy. All right. Don't worry. I got game three. <laughs>All right, man. I, I don't know how I'm going to approach this game three. Uh, I feel similarly. Yeah, I feel like I know a lot about your deck. Weird, because I played it, but <laughs> I don't know how to beat it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew how to play it, not how to beat it. Um, I don't know if going first or second the move here. What do you think? What would you like? To, how did you side? You want to just tell me? I'm good. Yeah, I'll let you decide. <laughs> I will say, this has been a real clash of an episode we've had. It has. It's been good. I think I'm going to go first. It just seems like the move. I can get stuff set up. So, Given with how your deck works, I kind of respect that. Yeah. All right, bro. Cool. Stand by me. Yep. Um, I mean, yeah, that's too juicy, bro. You better have... You better have that dark hole a second time. I'm going to special thrasher. <laughs> sure. I'm going to normal juggler, and I'm going to use Kage to Kage. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to instant fuse. Oh, you're just literally going all in. Oh, yeah. I'm just... I'm putting the whole kit and caboodle on the table, bro. <laughs> Mr. Wizard, what's up? He's a peer. Um, all right, let's go these... These two... I like it. Uh, I'm going to take these two, and I'm going to go into King of the Feral Imps. Get your Gigabyte. Yep. Detach. I'm going to pick up Gigabyte. While I'm in there, uh, let me use the Damage Juggler, bro. I'll banish it to pick up sure. the Perform Mage. That's fine. going to get a Hat Tricker. I think so. Now that I know how cool he is, bro, I just <laughs> might. <laughs> That's my dude. Yeah, let's go get the Hat Tricker. Sure. Two free summons here. Yep. Special... I've got the spellcaster special. Let's go these two. I'm going to make another king of the feral imps. Whoa, crazy. Insane, bro. I'm going to use this one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add from my deck to hand. Another gigabyte. <laughs> hey, man. World's my oyster. I could get anything. I'm going to pick up another gigabyte. You're right. Uh, Board's getting kind of clogged here. Clogged? I don't know if that's the right word. I'd say uh, fortified. I'm going to go fortified. for Laval Chain. Sure. I'm going to detach Thrasher. Are you sending or are you stacking? I'm sending, I think. Interesting. Changing it up from game one. Yeah. Oh, I get it. You're going to send your uh, your little trick clown buddy? <laughs> you, you're, uh, you see my tricks already, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to think if he's the right guy to make, honestly. What if I just hard make Ragna Zero at first? Bro, that dark hole would be devastating. <laughs> but I don't know how you beat the board. That's what I'm saying if, if I do that. You know what? All in, baby. All in. I got it. I'm going to send the uh, Sending the it. Clown. He's sending it. Okay. okay I'm going to use the Mr. Trick. I'm going to pay 1,000. Sure. I had to read this gigabyte again to make sure it really isn't once per turn. And it's not, yep. which is kind of crazy. You just can only control one of it, which is kind of annoying. Yep. But. 
All right, we'll stack these two. I will make that Ragna zero. It's gonna just hard make Ragna, yeah. Four rank fours on yeah, turn bro, one. That's dude, crazy. that's a very, look. The only thing this loses to is Dark Hole. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm crazy like that. And uh, I don't think you have a way to beat it. So go ahead, your turn. He went from being reserved to being crazy. Now I'm Hilarious. all in now, bro. I'm all okay. in. I don't think you can beat yeah, it. Yeah, for real. All right, main one. Yep. He doesn't think I can beat it, he says. This is pretty annoying. You're not making it easy for me, but <laughs> I think we're going to have to. We're going to try to do something, I guess. I've got an instant fusion. Oh, one of his own? Okay. I'm going to bring out Thousand Eyes. Yep. Do you want to take the Ragna Zero? That may shock you. Yes, I do want to take the Ragna Zero. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we'll take him. Uh, would you like to trigger your Trick Clown? Um, no, nah, I'll let it die there. That's fine. Okay. Sure. Okay. Step one. Now you're locked out of attacks, which is pretty good. Unless you have a way to get rid of this guy. We're going to go... Yeah, we're just going to do this. Uh, I'm just going to set three cards, and I'm going to let the uh, instant fusion expire. Wow. Okay. Uh, draw. Stand by main. Sure. Okay, well, let's get the value where I can. I'm going to use king. Sure. I will pick up a gigabyte. And can I use the other one while I'm in there? Yeah, go for it. Cool. I'll pick up a Kage to Kage. So make sure you detach your material. All right, man. What am I scared of? Like, specifically Torrential is what I'm thinking right now. Mirror Force is also, like, good. But last thing I need to do is get the value off of this chain. I can... Yeah, I'm going to use the chain. Sure. Sending or stacking? Uh, I'm going to send. Yep. And I'm going to send Damage Juggler. And then I'm going to banish sure. it and add Hat Trigger. That's fine. Lots of dudes. Lots of dudes, bro. Lots of dudes. Lots of follow-up. Okay, so like I said, Torrential Tribute. Let's just try to bait something out of you right here. I know I can't. if I summon something else, I can't game you. So I'm just going to go battle. I'm going to go 18. 18 is fine. 23. 23 is also fine. 23. Uh, that is also fine. What are you doing? And I'm not like I don't want to special anything. Because what do I make? Like, nothing. Like... Emerald and then draw two cards. That doesn't do anything. I'll just set a card and uh, I'll watch you try to beat it again. Go ahead. All right. We'll space it. That's fine. It's chain. Good. I'll draw. Uh, stand by me. Yep. So I know your hand is Hat Tricker, Gigabyte, Kage, and a single card in your hand that I do not know. Yep. Correct? That is correct. Okay. Um... Annoying, but is what it is. We're gonna go 03, 03 effect. Sure. Get ourselves in. Man, Gage, all the fucking math with this deck hurts my head. <laughs> so many like stat boosts. I think honestly, I probably just go for this. I'm just gonna get the four. I respect it. Good card. Uh, yeah. Here it's okay. So, can't really do a ton here. We can hit over a thing. Not taking damage if we do that. So, if we go attack, hit, get some guys, do some fun stuff. I think I have to do this this way. It's kind of annoying. I am going to machine dupe the four. Powerful. Yep, that's going to be fine. Yeah. This is kind of what I it's thought awkward was way. taking you so long. Like, this is the only, like, 04 machine dupe it's, type play that I think would really requires a lot of attention. It's tough. Yeah, it's that, and there's, like, a couple other things that I don't really want to disclose, but I'll let you know after the fact. Okay, so we got a, we got a bunch of guys on the field now, so now we can uh, we can do stuff. I'm going to overlay two fours. So what's cute is that Deskbot 4, if I use the effect, uh, it's after... For the rest of this turn, yeah. It's for the rest of the turn, yeah. So actually, before I overlay... I'm going to go ahead and fire three okay. just to give it the big Yeah, boost. do you want to boost three or do you want to so, boost a different one? Uh, I'm going to boost the three itself. Okay. So he's going to be 25 because I have four death yep. spots. Um, okay, then I'll overlay because uh, it is currently control at the time of activation. Um, Like, I know it, it makes it more difficult because I know exactly what you have in hand. So I'm trying to map out, like, what your turn is going to look like, which is what makes this kind of annoying. So I do have to be mindful of that. So what I actually think the best way is to sort of insulate myself from you a bit is I actually think I'm going to make a 101. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take your king. Yep. He's all yours. 
Uh, so we'll overlay here. And then I'm going to go to... This is tough. I think I want to put this 101 in defense, strangely enough. Okay. Uh, I'm on 600, which is not helping this situation in the slightest. I don't imagine it would. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go battle. I'm going to get yep. some damage in here. So we're going to take 700? go... I'm thinking who I want to take out, because I think it might affect what I send off of four. Because uh, I have to send a little bit of a bigger guy, potentially. Because if I attack over your chain, I need to send a three, and I kind of like that a little bit better. So I am actually going to attack, attack over your king here for two. Okay. Got it. Then we'll use four over the chain. We'll use the effect. Okay, I take no battle damage. Yep. Uh, we're going to send three. And then, so I go up to 2,000. It doesn't matter because the battle phase is going to end. Um, then declare four. I'm going to summon two and three because you can't summon four back. Hold on. Oh, they do summon from hand. Okay. Cool. They do. It's hand or grave. Yep. Um, and now you can see why that it was difficult with like machine yeah. loop and everything. Um, then we're going to use two effect. We're going to grab another three. Okay. And then all these guys are getting buffed. So this guy will be at 1,000. Attack and defense. Sick. Um, And then I think that is just going to end my turn. Go ahead. Okay. Draw. Stand by main. That is the best draw on my deck, bro. Because it could be anything else. I'll take pot of green. <laughs> sure. Two, two more. One, two. All right, man. So the only way I can see you putting up this board in defense here is you got to play around Exiton Knight. Um, I have to play around a lot of stuff because I'm on 600 life points, Gage. You, are, yeah, you are. You're looking, you're looking a little light, I would say. So, um, I'm going to start by normal summoning Gigabyte. Sure. Kage to Kage. Yep. Special. Mm -hmm. Anything here. Okay, I will overlay into Exciton Knight. Yep. Effect. <sighs> then I can do about it. Yep. That's so crazy. That happened a second time. <laughs> no way. All right, what is? what are these? I got to know. Uh, I guess I'll Lancer Exciton. I'll get does anything. Sure. But... Yeah, I mean, it, it's still going to attack over. Yeah. Um, no damage rest of turn, so I'll just go battle phase. I'll get over your arc. Yep. Two. Go. I'll draw. We'll go three effect. I'll Valor it. Well, uh, that's a wrap. It's a machine <laughs> dupe. You got it. No, damn, bro. I had a compulse tooth. It made you feel any anyway. better. Yeah, it, it didn't. No, it didn't. I yeah, mean... no, it's like, it, it's, it sucks because it's like, I there's unless I had exactly Valor or like exactly a card to deal with Exiton, like pre you activating the effect, which is a quick effect. So there's only a few things that really interact with it. Mm -hmm. I, I just like any board I make, just uh, knowing you had the ability to make a rank four, I just lose on the crack back. I could have not mm -hmm. put this arc in defense, but I thought maybe there's a world where you can summon two rank fours and you like suck up my 101 before like, you know, using Exiton or something like that. So you establish like two guys. Um, but that just loses to, like, here, right? So, mm -hmm. great I take, actually like, fully expected to see, like, a Fiendish Chain or something in the back. I had... This was my last yeah. card. That's why okay. I didn't, like, stack it as my first play or anything, like, because I, I just had it. And yeah. I was like, if I can break your board with Exide Tonight or, like, force out outs, then I just summon the BLS. And hopefully that's enough yeah. damage to win. That was my read that the last card was BLS, um, just because you didn't stack it. Like, granted, yeah. sending Trick Cloud is still pretty good, but um, I figured you did it the first game, so I feel like you would have done it the second game, too. Yeah. Um, and honestly, uh, like, if I if you just had BLS, I would have been okay on that board because you can't you attack over anything because all the yep. boosts saved me. You can just banish something, which is fine. Um, but yeah, no, like, Exiton just, like, that whole board just lost to Exiton. I think the issue was I just had too much spell and trap removal when you didn't, like, have anything else. But the problem is this deck just loses to spell and trap removal a lot of the time, too. Um, as we saw in the first game with, like, Compulse, that just, like, yeah. gave me a lot of problems. So I think this there was just too much redundancy here. If these were other cards I could have done something, that would have been a lot nicer. But it is what it is. I can't complain. Yeah. I don't know if you could tell by my deck. I'm playing, like, a rank four turbo. It was supposed yeah, to be, like, it's an cool. homage to Clown Blade, but would you be surprised Without... I, have, I have no Thousand Blades in my collections? <laughs> really? Oh, okay. So it's just, it's just clowns. It, 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 that's all it is. 
clowns and then a couple of the other, other like rank four things that we've seen. It's good like, though. Kage, Kage, yeah, I mean it's um yeah. the way to think about it was like, is this better than gadget? And the one thing it has going for it is like all the cards are extenders, right? Like hat right, trickers right. really good. Gigabytes like really good. You can play that in gadget anyways. Uh, damage juggler, it came up twice where I was able to search just a card. And then mm. I only had one trick clown, but this card is like I thought I would see this a lot more. This card was a uh, really really critical back in the day. I think for yeah. like the strategy. Yeah. Now, I wanted to bust out the bots because I figured it's something that you wouldn't expect that I would play at this oh, yeah. point. I will no, say not, not having Despot 6 right now sucks because uh, it came up like multiple times where it would have been relevant. Um, but it's still like functional. I mean, I took a game off of you and it's still able to just get a shit ton of damage on the board, but it obviously has its weaknesses. It's sort of like this all-in uh, this all in deck. Not like all-in, but like it's very fragile it for is. many different reasons. And I think we get to see why this deck, you know, wasn't exactly top tier during the time. Yeah, uh, you still know, Why would you deck. play... It is still a fun deck. Yeah, exactly. Um, how are your Class of Rebellion pulls? I mean, it seemed pretty good with the clowns and stuff. Anything um, else note? I really don't think I pulled anything great. I pulled like a Red Eyes, uh, Darkness, me what's the dude? The Flare Metal Dragon? Deals flare metal. every time. Flare I was metal. like, perfect for yeah. Dragon Roll. It's an annoying card. I was like, let me, let me queue up that deck again and lose another <laughs> week. I can't wait. So, <laughs> But uh, outside of that, I didn't get anything too crazy. It feels like a lot of the stuff was like uh, good commons, actually. Sure. Yeah. No, I agree. So much so that uh, d drum roll for everyone in the audience. I actually used a redo or ticket. <laughs> no, this say it ain't so. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think justifiably, this is a good set to use a redo or ticket on. I only got two copies of Damage Juggler, and there was like a bunch of other random stuff that I just missed. And I, I'm like, like st statistically speaking, I probably should have like the ability to uh, get these cards. Uh, like Trapeze Magician was another one. So. Uh, it's, it's, it's fine. It ended up working out. It, we got everything that we wanted. I didn't get anything like crazy in the secret or ultra. Uh, did you get brilliant fusion? Oh, That's a big question. I did not get a copy of brilliant fusion. Oh, I think God. my secret, I, okay. I actually got I didn't a, either. an Archfiend eccentric too, which is pretty cool. I really like that. Card. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, that card's like iconic, yeah. bro. I remember that was one of my favorites back in the day when pendulums first came out. Yeah. I can let you know though, for the snatching, uh, I didn't end up taking a copy of Castell out of your You can collection. have it. A copy of Castell. You can have it, bro. It's all yeah. yours. <laughs> Honestly, my rank four pool, this guy, there's so many times where we're like, well, Alex could just make Castell. I oh. didn't have it. Okay. So now we have <laughs> so one. I, was, I wasn't God. I was playing it around it for no reason. That's crazy. I thought you were just like meaning no, to me, did. but no, I literally just I didn't, didn't know. have one. So now yeah. I know. Now I know you got one. So yeah. And now I'm going to open more Astro Packs. So I'm going to pull an ulti <laughs> next week. Just watch. What was your wheel? That's the uh, thing I'm most concerned with. Sigh of relief, bro. I got a wild card ultra rare, which translates to oh, anything in God. Dragon of Legends 2, which translates to Whoa. nothing at all, bro. I didn't want anything. <laughs> I think I took like a Tomb Kingdom. I was like, whatever. <laughs> like, whatever. Yeah. Okay. I mean, sometimes the wheels are dud, but to be fair, sometimes we have yeah. that. I feel like we're like pretty like balanced, all things considered, with our card. Yeah, pools. I'm slowly clawing um, it so. back, bro. I was on like a three game deficit, and now I think I've almost evened it back up again, bro. Again. <laughs> Wait, am I in the banning uh, now? Or am I one I think away? One away. Oh my god! Are you gonna reversal three <laughs> yeah, me one again? Can this dump, is gonna right? be embarrassing. One can dream. <laughs> <laughs> so guys that's gonna wrap it up for another video i really hope you all enjoyed let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support so shout outs to shout 1317 tim00x3 mbt play Medolce, moto cameron l smith pony stark the synchro guy dan the man hoban little fade leaf draconic dylan rare hunter jw11860 extremely vulgar man brody eastwood flannel daddy twinkle muncher matthew brady power rave but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud cheeks mclapperty stolfin amethyst uncle brian of stardust wonder waffle MBT cancel by community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon. Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Enrage Peacock, Daniel Howell, and life keeps using solemn judgment on my hopes and dreams. Thank you all so much again for watching, and we will see you next time.